Oh, my God. Calm down. Camera guys really need to focus on getting their cameras better. This thing is so blurry, making my eyes water. Nothing else matters right now, Byron. As Corey calls her the golden goddess. Corey, you've gone radio silent. I'm just enjoying the moment, Cole. I suggest you do the same. If Mandy Rose told me that up was down and down was up, I'd at least do some research on it. Byron, time to put your hair up and square up. Well, you don't have any hair, but you get the point. love to see you interview Sonya Deville so she could punch you right in the mouth. I wouldn't enjoy that at all. Sonya Deville is as bad as they come. Disciplined, driven. In fact, the day that Sonya Deville graduated high school, she packed up her car, drove down to South Florida, and began training full-time in mixed martial arts. these girls who doesn't I don't WWE Women's Tag Team on the way to the ring. Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville. And their opponents. They are the women's Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. The Iconic. Stay right where you are, people. The tag team action underway here. Wow. Oh, this is not good at all. The pen...
Opponent off the ropes. Not the fall that hurts. It's the sudden stop at the end. Well, Peyton Royce's career is just getting started, guys. I'd say she has already accomplished a great deal, including being named the 2016 NXT Breakout Star of the Year alongside Billy Kay. All oh, right to the spine with the knee. That was vicious. That NXT Breakout Star of the Year award Michael brings up is something for Peyton to be proud of, especially when you look at who she and Billy Kay beat to take home the hardware. Yeah, there were certainly some big names there. Talk about Ember Moon, Andrade Cien Almas. But in the end, it was the iconic duo walking away with the win. The challenge is starting to slow down a bit here. In May of 2017, SmackDown Live saw an incredible women's tag team match when Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch squared off against welcoming committee members Natalya and Carmella. The rivalry between these women got so intense that Naomi was in Flair and Lynch's corner and Tamina was in Natalya and Carmella's corner. I think only a group as treacherous as the welcoming committee could bring Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair back together. Natalya's power set the tone for the match and gave her team an advantage. That was until Carmella's overconfidence let the Irish last kicker turn the tide and get back into the match. And then it was elementary from there for the Irish-born superstar. Naomi did an excellent job of making sure any quote-unquote committee nonsense cost her girls the match. Once Becky Lynch got Carmella locked in the disarmor, there was nothing for the Staten Island Princess to do but to tap out. And it didn't take long for that to happen. Knee stop! That'll ruin your leg. The champ's starting to sweat. And this one here is far from over, and she knows that. The good news is that if it gets too out of control, she has her partner she can tag in while she catches her breath in the corner. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't in the cover. And the champ kicks out. She's still in this one. You gotta believe this one's over. times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. Well, I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't. Gorilla press slam way up there. Oh, my. That is definitely it. You gotta like her chances now. Harsh impact. Double underhook applied. A face buster. Here's her chance. Here's her cover. When a superstar is in a tag team match and has endured heavy amounts of punishment, they must find a way back to their corner to tag their partner. Something that they have to try is doing create separation between them and their opponent. That space gives a superstar the ability to move and catch their breath. Peyton Royce is able to get out of the way there. Corey, you touched on this before, part of it. Tag team's ability to be successful is their ability to endure punishment and make their... Here she comes on the counter. We'll see if she can turn things around. The challenger's taking on some offense. 
There's so much on the line for her here tonight. I really like the resolve we've seen from her in this tag team match, guys. Though, I wouldn't be against the tag here. You know, just so she can gather herself a bit. Well, it was just a few moments ago that it looked like she was going to sail to victory. But it looks like her opponent refuses to go down so easily. Manny Rose has been successful in WWE, but she also has the less than honorable distinction of being the first person eliminated in both the inaugural Women's Royal Rumble and Women's Elimination Chamber. But she gets an attack. Beautiful technique. She can end it here. She's calling for it. Double underhook applied. Up. Down. This is it. This is her. This may very well be it. Michael brought up Mandy Rose's lack of success in the Royal Rumble, and they got it. And here's another quick look at those superstars in action in that tag team battle. Oh, I can't believe this. She's taking care of business. I really enjoyed every minute of this. Here are your winners, and still the WWE Women's Tag Team, Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, the Iconics. Big win here in tag team action tonight. Now that's the kind of win you can build some momentum off of. No surprise there. That was exactly what we expected when the match was announced for SummerSlam. What an incredible effort all around.